Been watching two big earnings coming out of note this morning. Target is down a little bit after reporting better than expected earnings. But you are seeing a nice pop on Lowe's still. That stock is up by about 7 percent after the company came out with earnings that were much better than had been anticipated. Let's talk a little bit more about this week's retail trends. And joining us for that is Jerome Martis. She is director of consumer research at Refinitiv. Uh, Jerome, what do you think about just the results this morning? First up, let's start with Target. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Um, Target definitely smashed it out of the park this morning with triple digit numbers in e-commerce. And it's very evident that more today more than ever, a good omni-channel strategy is key for any retailer to survive. It's not just about selling key essentials, but really investing in the omni-channel experience, something that Target did five years ago. It used to beat on earnings, but then its stock used to take a hit in the past because it used to tell us that it's going to invest heavily on, on in new technology, digital, and the omnichannel experience, which today is paying off with triple digit numbers in e-commerce. And the same can be said for how other come, brands that want to succeed. But uh, how come Target's down this morning? I mean, yesterday, Walmart ended down by the end of the day. And right now we're looking at Target down by about one and a third percent. And that comes despite uh, better than anticipated results from both of those companies. Absolutely. But the difference between Lowe's and Target is Lowe's really um, smash expectations. They really knocked it even further out of the park than analysts were expecting. Target, on the other hand, we were expecting it to have a good um, earning season, uh, especially after Walmart's numbers yesterday. But the fact that they are having such high expenses, which is something we also saw yesterday with, with other retailers, you know, is definitely costing the retail, the is, is um, causing the stock to take a hit today. Um, the the fact well, that I don't know. I, I mean, honestly, I, if you look at the companies, Jerome, if you look at the companies that have reported on this, yesterday we heard from Home Depot. That stock was down. They were spending, I think, $850 million that they were going to be putting towards extra resources for their employees. I think Target's spending something like $550 million. And then you have Walmart that has spent more than $900 million on that front. I mean, I think that they would those are all things that the street kind of anticipated knew had been happening, knew these companies were doing from some time. And I think you'd have a huge disappointment if they weren't investing in their employees at a time when they are making money, when other stores can't even be open. It's not just the investment on their employment. It's also the investment on Omnichannel. Um, Home Depot telling us yesterday that they were going to spend uh, $4 billion now over the next year only in Omnichannel. And when you look at the numbers today for Target, we were expecting a 27% gross margin. That number came in below um, today because of higher expenses. So the company is taking is definitely taking a hit, not, you know, not just on, you know, um, the cost of the wages and employment, but also on the fact that they have to ship everything even faster for the consumer. Do you think that's the right call? I mean, I think these companies are doing right now what they can to make sure that they can help their customers any way possible. Would you be in favor of them? I mean, I just do you think the, the street's reaction is the right reaction on this? Well, I think the fact that Omnichannel is here to last is a necessary evil, and it's not a cheap investment. It's a heavy investment. So, yes, these costs are going to be eating up the bottom line and gross margins like we saw today. And when you think about who are going to be the lasting winners when the pandemic is over, it's going to be those retailers that are able to give shoppers a fast and convenient way of shopping. The fact that consumers are yeah. stuck in their houses, they cannot leave. It's it's making more new consumers go online. Walmart told us yesterday that the amount of new consumers going online to shop has increased fourfold since mid-March. So this is not mm -hmm. something that is just temporary because of the pandemic. It's something that's here to last. And sure. those retailers that have reopened already in Asia are already telling us that despite traffic um, already coming at, the, at very similar levels pre-coronavirus at the stores, the consumers are still gravitating online to finalize those purchases. So it is a necessary evil, and those costs are going to be eating up gross margins and the bottom line going forward, especially at least for Q1 and Q2.